Greetings everyone, this is Derek Ong with video number 6, the continuation series of Smart PLS usage uh, reporting and analysis. Um, in my preceding videos, I've shown you how to run the Smart PLS algorithm and to assess the measurement model. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to report these um, measurement model um, results in a table. So what you're going to do first is make sure that uh, you have done the checking of the measurement model, uh, the loadings, the ABE, and the CR, and the combat alpha. That's above all these ver uh, values. Um, and uh, in my video before, I already checked and removed all these loadings, which are problematic. So now I'm going to show you how to report them in a table. So first things first, go to your Smart PLS algorithm results and go to your outer loadings. We always want to report the outer loadings, okay? Um, click on the Excel formats and then open your Excel, paste it usually one uh, level below the top uh, row because I like to do that a lot and then just paste there you go and then uh, here is where you want to format your table so start with the items uh, you want to talk about the loadings then your AVE and your CR you want to talk about your row A. Yeah, as I mentioned to you, row A is a better measure, more consistent measure of the uh, indicator reliability than um, uh, the uh, Cromwell Alpha, uh, which is the same thing actually, but it's more uh, reliable. Now, um, then you want to talk about the items. Now, always put the items as per the way that you have shown in your model so that it's quite consistent the way that you um, report uh, so that it's easier for people to read. So technological readiness, top management support, TMS, cost and competitive support. So uh, what was it again? <laughs> technological readiness. You can just copy, paste here. Um, you can talk about the loadings for technological readiness, which is the R1, 2, and 3. You can copy here. Just put in the items. We'll put in the loadings later on. Or you can put it now if you want. Copy and paste. Yeah. Uh, next is the top management support. Top management support here. Control C, Control V, TMS four five and three four and five, and of course the numbers. Then you have the cost. Cost. Just copy and paste. Cost here, copy, paste, cost here, copy, and paste. And then you have the technological uh, competitive support. Now notice competitive support, we have the CP1 down there, so please be careful. Competitive support, CP1, uh, copy and paste. Copy and paste. Then you have technological adoption. Technological adoption, which is here. Oops. Copy and paste. Technological adoption. Copy and paste. Copy and paste and finally you have your financial performance which is fp financial performance here copy 
paste, copy, and paste. Now, you might notice that uh, all these items are really all in a place uh, because when you copy this table over to Microsoft Word, they might run out of proportion. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just redistribute the wordings properly. And there's a reason for this, and I'll tell you the reason later on. Uh, top management support. Management. I use the word support here. Just one word on one row. Trust me on this. You will thank me later on. Okay, cost, and then I have customer support here, and technological adoption here on next level, and financial performance. Here on the next level. There you go. All right. So where are we going to get the A, B, E, C, R, and row A? So go back to your PLS. Go back to your algorithm. Look under quality criteria, construct reliability and validity. You have the answers here already, or the results here. So Excel format one more time. Uh, you can just paste it here. All right. Uh, you notice it's A, V, E, C, R, and row A, but this is A, V, E, uh, C, R, row A. It's all over the place, right? So, easy. Just redistribute, insert, and cut A, V, E. Uh, sorry, cut. C R in row A. There you go. And we're just going to put it on each section. So this one, first one is competitor support right there. Cost right there. Financial financial, 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 financial performance here you go right there technological adoption here we go just paste here technological readiness paste here and top management support we just paste here and of course we might want to do a little bit of formatting before we transfer the items over yeah so format a little bit here no ground now i do know that uh, i'm a little bit anal in terms of um, formatting but that's just me uh, you can format it anywhere else you want uh, but uh, i just like to make sure that everything looks good before I transfer over and then it looks nice, you know, especially if you're going to send it for publications or doing anything for um, your uh, thesis, or whatever. Yeah. And trust me, your supervisor will love you for it. I know I will. Okay. So copy all that. Copy. Uh, you can call this table one measurement model. As you know, remember in my previous video, I have also indicated what the items that I have uh, uh, deleted and removed. Now, isn't that a beaut? Okay. And of course, if you want to make sure that people understand what you are writing uh, in terms of your uh, thing here, you just try and make this all look nice with uh, three decimal places, you know, it's, it's workable. Uh, you can um, actually make these uh, indicators, okay? So I want to indicate this as a small a and a small b. 
subscript, of course, a small c, and a small d. And where do I have all this information? Usually I put all this information at the bottom, which will, of course, be kind of like a uh, note at the bottom. So my notes are here, actually. You can pause this video if you want to and just look at the notes. But since I already have them, might as well use them, right? Okay. A, B, C, D. Copy. And paste. Yep. So I've got my notes here. And of course, usually the notes are very small. So just put them at eight. Uh, no paragraphs. Okay, there you go. So, wonderful, beautiful uh, measurement model uh, table. Uh, oh yeah, I, in case I just want to show you that you can also check uh, graphically, as long as everything is above this line here on your Cromba Alpha, row A, composite reliability average, then you're fine. Because if it's not fine, then it will show a red color uh, bar chart, okay? Yeah. Uh, same goes for the, oops, sorry. Same goes for the auto loadings. Um, yeah, as well, you know, you've got a matrix. So PLS is just wonderful. Um, so yeah, my next video, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, discriminant validity. Okay, so as long as now you know how to report it, and then you can just talk about the measurement model, which is perfectly fine. Yeah? So remember you have your Excel and your Microsoft Word. Okay, thank you for watching.